Denglish German spelling or Denglish English spelling is a portmanteau of the German words Deutsch and English English and can also be used to refer to a portmanteau of English and Dutch. The term is used in all German speaking countries to refer to the increasingly strong influx of macaronic English or pseudo-English vocabulary and other features of the language such as grammar and orthography into German. Many synonyms exist, including germ, l, ish, gerglish, angeloich, ganglish, and angeloich, as well as pseudo English. Both these and danglish are also used to refer to incorrect English that is influenced by German. To some extent, the influence of English on German can be described in terms of normal language contact, which is active also in the reverse direction. See List of English words of German origin. The term Denglish is however mostly reserved for forced, excessive exercises in Anglicization, or pseudo-Anglicization, of the German language. The forced introduction of Anglicisms, especially in marketing and business terminology, experienced a peak during the 1990s and the early 2000s, but the ubiquity of the practice has since made it much less fashionable or prestigious and since then, many publicistic commentators have argued against it. Zeit Online, itself an example of the prevalence of English loans in IT terminology in a 2007 article, while granting the possibility of excessive linguistic purism among those arguing against anglicizing influence on German criticizes ubiquitous use of English citing as example the fashion to label information desks at train stations, formerly simply known as Auskunft, with the anglicistic service point, and as an extreme case cites the pseudo-anglicistic brain-up, chosen by then Minister for Education Edelgard Bullmann as a campaign slogan in 2004. The same slogan had already been satirized by Frankfurter Allgemeine in 2004. That newspaper described how even the English-speaking sphere was mocking the unreflected and basically unnecessary kowtow as German linguistic submissiveness. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Loanwords. Topic: German vocabulary has numerous cases of English loanwords now fully naturalized as German words, including full inflection. English had only very limited influence on German before the mid-19th century. Such loanwords as there are mostly concern nautical vocabulary, loaned into Low German e tank, ultimately from Indo-Aryan, tanker, tanker ship, is early 20th century. In the 19th century, it was still more common to use loan translation for the vocabulary of industrialization Dampfmaschine for «steam engine», Fertstark for «horse power», etc. To some extent, this continued in the early 20th century, Wokenkratzer for «skyscraper», Kogumi for «chewing gum», Flutlicht for «flood light», Fernchen for «television». English loanwords became more common in the early 20th century. A notable example from this period is test ultimately from Old French test, «earth and pot». Test was compatible both with German phonology and orthography so its nature as a loan is not evident. Early loanwords 19th to early 20th century often describe garments or foodstuffs. Jumper 19th century, curry 19th century loan from English, ultimately from Tamil. Pajama early 20th century loan from English pajamas, ultimately from Urdu. Trenchcoat 1920s. Other loanwords are boycottieren to boycott 1890s and star film star, homonymous with the German for starling. Direct influence of English, especially via U.S. pop culture, became far more pronounced after the end of World War II, with the Allied occupation of Germany and later by association with 1960s to 1970s U.S. counterculture, jeep, quiz, show, western, rock, rock music, homonymous with the German for skirt, frock, hippie, groupie. The newest and most prolific wave of Anglicisms arose after 1989 with the end of the Cold War and the surge of the «Anglo-Saxon» smack of economic liberalism in continental Europe and the associated business jargon «CEO» became extremely fashionable in German, replacing traditional terms such as director, Geschäftsführer, Vorsitzender during the 1990s. At the same time, the rapid development of information technology pushed many technical terms from that field into everyday language. Many of the more recent loans have developed in the spoken language and are still clearly felt to be English words, so their English orthography is retained in written communication, which leads to awkward spellings combining German morphemes with English word stems, as in gebootet, booted up, of a computer or gecrashed or gecrashed. 
crashed of a computer, downloadé, gedownloadé or gedownloaded, downloaded. They also retain English phonology in many cases, including phonemes that do not exist in standard German, such as the e in update. Topic: <laughs> Pseudo-anglicisms. Topic: German pseudo-anglicisms are words that seem to be English, but are German creations and have a different meaning or no meaning in native English. The following English words or expressions came to be used in an unfamiliar sense in German. Compounds – Some German pseudo-anglicisms are produced by compounding two existing correct anglicisms. <laughs> Adoption of English grammar or idioms Another form of Denglish consists of calques of popular English expressions which replace German words and idioms. Common examples are Was Possierte in 2005? What happened in 2005? Formally, was Possierte 2005? Or was Possierte im Jahre 2005? Although this is considered incorrect by many native speakers as it violates German grammar, it can be found even in German newspapers. Das matched Shin, that makes sense, formally, Das or Git Shin, Das hat Shin, or Das East Sinval. Willkommen zu Unserem Video Channel, properly Willkommen Bei. Although it has been pointed out that combination of Willkommen with the preposition zu can also be found in German classics. Orthography <inaudible> 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 Another phenomenon is the usage of the possessive construction s generally used in English but also correct in German in sunder cases, often called depenapostrophe or idiotenapostrophe idiot s apostrophe or idiot's inverted comma instead of the traditional German constructions. For example, a Denglish speaker might write Wikipedia s Gestaltung Wikipedia s design instead of either Wikipedia's Gestaltung or die Gestaltung der Wikipedia. Less often, it is used incorrectly to mark a plural greengrocer's apostrophe, cf a similar construction in Dutch handy s, de su, s, or for adverbial expressions, such as montags instead of montags, cf. English on Mondays, Denglish may combine words according to English rules by writing them in succession. According to the standard German grammar and spelling rules, that is incorrect. Reparatur anime instead of reparaturanime The first spelling, with two separate words, makes no logical or grammatical connection between the words but simply juxtaposes them. The second combines them into one word, an anime in this case a place where something is received for reparaturen repairs. That is often called depenlehrstel, or depenlehrzeichen which means idiot space, incorrectly separating parts of a compound word. Non-translation Topic. Some major companies such as Deutsche Bank now conduct much of their business in English, while several departments of the major German telephone company Deutsche Telekom were known as T-Home, formerly T-Com, T-Mobile, T-Online, and T-Systems. Reinventing titles for English language films dubbed into German was once a common practice so, for example, a title like Paul Landers. S. 1958 Western Man from God's Country would become Men Who Die With Their Boots On. Most current American film titles are no longer translated into German, Ice Age, although they still often receive German appendages like Prometheus, Dunkel Zeichen, Prometheus, Dark Signs, or include puns not present in the original title, such as Clerks, Die Ladenhüter for Clerks, The Shelf Warmers. Menus of many global fast food chains also usually go partly or completely untranslated. Double Whopper, formerly Doppel Whopper, MIT Leckerum Bacon und Cheddar Cheese. Topic: Advertising language. Topic: Advertising agencies in German-speaking countries have such a need for skills in English that they want ads for new employees to contain plain English, such as "Join us." KFC Germany's recruitment slogan is. I am for real. 
and its website shows very heavy use of English coupled with non standard German. German commercials or, more often, written advertisements are likely to use many English terms. MIT Jamba, Kanan Sai Klingelton, Logos und Spiel direkt aus Handy Downloaden. Wallen Sai aus Tausenden Kulen Sounds, Aktualen Games und Hippen Logos. The verb, Downloaden, is alleged to have been coined by Microsoft, as there is a native, common German word, Herunterladen. Microsoft Windows Update uses the phrase, Download inside die newsten updates. Download the latest updates, instead of the standard, Laid inside die newsten actualiserungen herunter. The latest interface guidelines suggest that the term, Herunterladen, should be used again because many users complained. However, actualizerungen unlike herunterladen would not be idiomatic German in this usage or would at least have to be explained as software actualizerungen or program actualizerungen, the former involving the new anglicism software. The use of handy has its roots in a commercial name too. It is related to the handheld walkie-talkie, a commercial name for the two-way radio transceiver to be transported in a bag, later in hands and so called handy talkie. A correct translation could be Handsprechfunkgerät. Germans used to cite the word handy as an example of Denglish. Advertising in the field of personal hygiene tends to use much English. Double action washgel. Vitalizer and days peeling. Energy creme Q10. Oil control gel creme. Oil control washgel. Neutrogena visibly clear anti metesser peeling. Aerial sprudels the same applies to detergents. Color washmittel instead of buntwashmittel or farbwashmittel. Brand name Megapearls. Brand name Oxy Action larger national and international companies based in Germany also use English to describe their services. The television broadcaster Proceben uses the slogan "We love to entertain you," while Zurich Financial Services advertise with the slogan "Because change happens." The fastest trains run by the German state-owned railway system Deutsche Bahn German Rail are named IC and ICE, abbreviations of Intercity and Intercity Express, while information booths are named service points, first-class waiting areas are referred to as lounges, and words like Kundendienst customer service and Fahrkarte ticket are quickly losing out to their respective English counterparts. As an official stance against this rampant use of Denglish, the Deutsche Bahn in June 2013 issued a directive and glossary of 2,200 Anglicisms that should be replaced by their German counterparts. Sometimes such neologisms also use camelcase, as in the Deutsche Telekom's newest rates called full time, free time, call plus, and call time, offering additionally such features as country select. They do not even refrain from offering services at certain Callships, using both languages by building a German-style compound, capitalizing it and using two English words in a new context. It has become common for travel agencies to offer «last-minute» bookings or manufacturers to adopt «just-in-time», perhaps driven by international commerce and economic interests. The phrase «test it» is increasingly common as an English phrase idiosyncratic to German, meaning roughly «try it out». That is thought to have originated with advertising copy for West cigarettes, exhorting consumers to «test the West». Topic in popular culture topic The popular German a cappella group Wise Guys produced a song on their radio album called «Denglish», a tongue-in-cheek look at the use of English words in German language. In the song, the lyrics start out mostly German with only a few English words creeping in, Oh, Herr, bit gib mir meine Sprache Zurich, oh Lord, please give me my language back. It progresses to most of the lyrics being English, O oh Lord, please give me your minor language back. In 1985, the famous German poetic songwriter Reinhard May recorded May English Song as a parody on the increasingly frequent playing of English songs on the radio, although the fans only understand railway station literal translation of the German idiom Verstehe nur Bahnhof, cannot understand a thing. In the song, he states, his producer told him, well, what do we now for record sell, urging May to sing in English. In an episode of the web series Will It Blend? Tom puts a German-English-English-German CD dictionary into his blender. After he finishes blending the dictionary, he says, Denglish smoke. Don't breathe this. The book one like you, und du? 
ISBN 978-3499203237 features frequent code switching between English and German. The punk rock band Goldfinger from Los Angeles produced a cover of 99 Luftballons by Nina for their 2000 album Stomping Ground in which the fourth verse is in German. They also included a Germish version of their song Spokesman as a bonus track on their 2002 album Open Your Eyes, containing a mostly German second verse. Topic see also topic Bayorlaches Dunglish False Friends Franglais Language Transfer Lubke English Macaronic Language Mixed Language topic Notes topic topic Further reading topic Germans are speaking Denglish, by borrowing words from us, Passnotes No. 3401. The Guardian. 25 June 2013. Peter Litger, The Devil Lies in the Detail. Lustiges und Lehrreiches über unsere Lieblingsse Fremdsprache, Kiepenheuer and Witch, Cologne 2015, ISBN 978 3 46204 703 5, https colon slash slash www.amazon.de slash dp slash 3462047035 Vassiger, Jeevan. Deutsche Bahn aims to roll back use of English, The Telegraph, 24 June 2013. PIDD, Helen. Mind Your Language, German Linguists Oppose Influx of English Words, The Guardian. Monday, 14 March 2011. External links Denglish used for truck driver humor Opinion, Desperately Ditching Denglish, a November 2004 article from the Deutsche Welle website Denglish definition and citation, from a February 2001 article on a «lexpionage» lexical espionage website Gail Tufts, a Berlin-based American performer whose comedy is often based on Denglish. Denglish, at languagehat.com Die Deutschen und IHR English the Devil Lies in the Detail, a April 2015 article from the Der Tagespiegel website Der Denglish Patient, a column by Peter Litger Manager Magazine, 2016